Evie and her pets, a story about jealousy. Evie was a lovely little girl who loved animals. There were lots of pets in her family, but she had some of her very own. She had a little bearded dragon called Bertie and a tank of seahorses. They were Fergal, Freddy and Fiona. She loved them all very much and she gave them just what they needed. In his tank, Bertie had desert sand in the bottom, a heat lamp in the top, UV lighting, logs to balance on, a cave and a little bowl of water. She would give him all the things he needed, light, warmth, places to hide, calcium supplements and food. Evie would feed him live crickets, mealworms, fruit and veg. Bertie was very happy. He felt very loved by Evie. The seahorse tank was different. It had gravel at the bottom and it was full of water. Every day, Evie had to check the water had the right amount of saltiness. She had a special filter to keep the water clean. She fed Fergal, Freddy and Fiona shrimp. Evie loved her seahorses. They were so pretty floating around and they were very happy and well cared for. One day, Evie's cousin Daniel came to stay. He was very interested in Bertie and in Fergal, Freddy and Fiona. Daniel was only little, so Evie explained to him about her pets. One day, she came into her room to find Daniel with a big bucket of water about to tip it into Bertie's tank. No, she yelled. Don't do that. Why are you being such a naughty boy? Not naughty, said Daniel. Bertie want water too, like Fergal, Freddy and Fiona. Bertie not feel loved. He got no water to make him float. Evie sighed and removed Daniel from her room. Bertie started to think. Well, why is my tank all empty with just air? Why don't I have water to float around in and look pretty? Maybe Evie loves the seahorses more than me. They are very pretty. The next day, while Evie was downstairs, Daniel sneaked into her room. He got some live crickets and started dropping them into the seahorse tank, where they flailed about on top of the water. Then he picked up the heat lamp and was just about to plunge it into the water. Then Evie came in. No! she screamed. You're going to kill them! And maybe yourself! Don't you know water and electricity don't mix? You're cold, said Daniel. She wants to be warmed up. Daniel, help her. Evie sighed and removed Daniel from her room. But Flora, Freddy and Fergal started to think and talk to each other. Maybe she doesn't love us as much as Bertie. Why don't we have a heat pump? Just then, Evie's mum came in with Daniel, who'd been crying. What's going on? she said. And Evie explained all that had happened. Oh dear, said mum, what a muddle. It sounds like Daniel and Bertie are worried that Bertie isn't loved because his tank isn't full of water. But bearded dragons don't need tanks full of water. In fact, a tank full of water would feel horrid and yucky to Bertie. And he wouldn't feel loved. He'd just feel wet and cold and sad. Oh, thought Bertie, that is true. And Daniel, Flora, Freddy and Fergal are worried that Evie doesn't love them because seahorses don't have a heat lamp. But seahorses don't need a heat lamp. In fact, if you put a heat lamp in water, you might give everyone an electric shock and that would feel really painful and horrid and they wouldn't feel loved. They'd feel awful. Oh, thought Flora, Freddy and Fergal. That is true. Love doesn't give everyone the same thing. Not everyone needs the same thing. If you love someone or something, you give them exactly what they need, not what somebody else needs. And that's just what Evie does. She loves Bertie, Flora and Freddie and Fergal the same. But she does different things for them. So everybody gets just what they need. The end. <laughs>